Well, I'm trying an experiment at the moment. I've, you see my hair is quite oily. Over the last 12 months, well, particularly in the last six months, because if you look at like a video of me performing or anything like that, like 12 months ago, I had really nice hair, like, plen like plenty of hair, and it was longer. And then, well, two years ago, I decided I'll try and become fertile. I was on HRT for many years. I I was passing and stuff as like I couldn't get through an airport without people commenting, why haven't you changed your gender marker on your passport? You know, stuff like that. Yeah, I decided I'll try and donate some seed to a happy couple or something and save some for myself. And well, what turned out was I was probably going to do that for about six to nine months. And I was still looking okay at that point. I saw the changes. But I kept going. It was like, it's not happening. I knew it was most likely not going to happen. But eventually a doctor recommended, actually two doctors recommended. I go to see um, a specialist. Who puts me on some pregnil and then my hair was really starting to fall out at that point I was really worried about my hair because I didn't plan to do this forever it was just like I'm gonna do this now as a mid-age crisis thing because I'm 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 middle-aged it was gonna be a short-lived thing but it, it dragged on it was like oh I could just do it a little bit longer I can just do that a little bit longer and then I, I, I was giving up after a course. I was told there's not much else you can do after this. That was like late last year. But then the doctor did mention, well, I can do like three injections a day instead of two and just run out the course. So I started doing that. I didn't tell him. I said, no, I'm not going to do this anymore. And he gave me some estrogen patches for the next six months and some anti-androgen I can go back to whatever I was doing about a week and a half later no it was actually about yeah no it was like yeah a week and a half later I just said no bugger it let's just run out the course and I don't have to worry about it for the rest of my life it would be no stress like I've done it that's it gave it a shot I wanted to see it to the end and I thought I saw it to the end till he dropped that and I felt, I, I have not seen this to the end. I wanted to see it to the end. So I started having three injections a week. I went down to my local GP. I wasn't going to see the specialist for a few months. So I went down there and started, told, told the doctor what, was, what went on. He was like, okay, come here and we'll have three injections a week. I, I'm not good at giving injections to myself. Actually, the first time I went to take the pregnil, yeah, my specialist was saying, hey, just give it to yourself. Yep. Go down, see a chemist or whatever, and they'll, they'll show you how to do it. They've got all the stuff. There's certain chemists that do. They don't all do it. But I, I, I went to the GP and the doctor was a bit reluctant at first for me to do it and was questioning me a lot and he did it for me and he said just come here as often as you like and we'll do it for you just go in here see the nurse and she'll give you the injection so I was doing that and now I've been doing that three times a week they've all gotten to know me down at the local GP they're a pretty popular GP they're in Box Hill, sort of Box Hill Mall, uh, out, out in the street, not inside the uh, one of the two shopping centres they got there. And so I just walk in and they go, oh, you're here for your injection. Yeah, you'd have to see the doctor. Just go straight to the nurse. And over that time, my hair has gotten so bad. So today, I've started... 
uh, a course on uh, restoring my hair. I've made my own hair tonic. Made it out of bits and pieces I picked up at or just around Box Hill, Box Hill, Victoria. Did my research and going to try it. Should do it for about four weeks, maybe once or twice a week. But it, it's obviously fairly oily. It's like castor oil with uh, jojoba oil. So you get like um, castor oil, 100 mils is about six bucks, 650, something like that. And you get jojoba oil, which is about 26, 2650. But you only, get, I only use like about a quarter of the jojoba oil and the whole bottle of castor oil to make this. I've put it all there. I've, I've I haven't put the whole bottle in there. Um, I've put, just massage it into your skull, rub it through your hair, and then I'll see in about four weeks what the difference is. I've only got one week left of the Pregnil, so I'll do that next week, and then I'll have a test, and then I'll see if, see if it did the job. It may not. Doctor says it was less than 1% chance of it working. I've been feeling a lot of tingling and stuff. I won't go into that. It, it, you don't want to hear it. Uh, it. Only in the last week or two. So something may be happening. I may have achieved my goal, but I don't know. We'll find out. All in good time. And then I can say, well, I gave it a shot. After all these years, I gave it a shot. And then I can sleep easy at night. But then, you know, you have your regrets. It's like, what did I do to my body? Why did I do this? Things were working. Things were actually happening. And then I screwed it up. But maybe I haven't screwed it up. It's just things that I thought, well, they'll, some things will change back, but then it'll change again. I mean, after about a year, I started, yeah, about a year... I started noticing the puberty changes again. So it's like the third time I've gone through some sort of puberty change. And I'm middle aged now. And I'm going to go through it all again. Anyway, we'll see what happens. And, you know, next week I could be told that it still didn't work. Another couple of years I'll be looking different again I will keep a status update on what happens to my hair because I know a lot of people will be interested in this does it work will I have thicker hair longer hair I mean I think in theory maybe my hair might grow maybe two or three inches longer so I'll get Two or three inches longer there. Some roots, dead roots that have only recently dead will sprout again. So my hairline might look a bit different. Um, I mean, it's not too bad. It was never far back anyway. It's the genetics of my family. My hairline's round right about there anyway. And But I used to have like um, a widow's, um, whatever you call it, peak. Widow's peak here, like... Up until late 2000s or something but that could have been because you're sort of balding on the side and that went away after years of hormones well see what happens I'm very curious <laughs>